At the Jacob Javits Center Crystal Palace, the New York Auto Show commenced with an indoor parade of vehicles. Broadway stars, designers, celebrities and hometown heroes led by Tracy Morgan featuring high-performance sports cars, vintage automobiles, custom rides and electric vehicles. Attendees also got to experience electric vehicles on five test track spread throughout the show, including indoor tracks at Ford and Hyundai displays and an 80,000 square foot track for BMW, Chevrolet, Kia, Nissan and Volkswagen. In addition, visitors enjoyed over 100 immersive exhibits and experiences such as Camp Jeep New York, Toyota's Thrill Ride and Subaru's National Park themed exhibit. The auto show which began on April 7th will run until April 16th. Enjoy the highlights. Hello everyone, my name is Faison Hussein with ITV Gold and today I am at the New York International Auto Show at the Javits Convention Center in Manhattan and we'll be going inside looking at all the new cars that was unveiled. So let's go inside. To start off with, we're going to start off with Ford and they unveiled a lot of new cars. So we're starting off with the Broncos over here, the Bronco Sports the main Bronco, and then over back there is the brand new Ford Mustang Dark Horse. So now we're starting off with the Ford Mustang GT. Behind me is the brand new 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. It's got a five liter Coyote V8 making over 500 horsepower. This is the brand new seventh generation for the Mustang and it has a lot of power than the last generation. Right behind me is the brand new 2024 Nissan GTR. This is the last edition of the GTR and after this, they're not making this anymore. So this is a brand new frame, but the same platform from last year. It's got the same 3.8 liter twin turbo V6, making 565 horsepower. But all around, it's the same car. But this one right behind me is called the T-Spec. It's a limited edition GTR that combines the base model with the Nismo model. So it's the perfect grand touring car. This car comes with carbon ceramic brakes with a top speed of 215 miles an hour. So it has a 565 horsepower engine. Inside is this Millennium Jade green leather seats with a brand new 8-speed automatic transmission. As you can see inside, there's carbon everywhere. It's got the same old head unit and the same old paddle shifters and everything inside this car is mostly the same except there's green everywhere since it is a T-Spec edition. And you also have your T-Spec plaque right in the middle. This is because this is a special edition. These wheels right in, that you're seeing are straight from the Nismo. 
These also contain the same brakes from the Nismo model, carbon ceramic brakes, and they're not cheap. Right behind me is the brand new 2024 E-Ray Corvette. So this is the first ever hybrid electric Corvette. So it's got the engine from the Stingray, which is a 6.2 liter V8, making around 460 horsepower. And then to the front is a brand new little 1.9 kilowatt battery electric motor to the front wheels, making about 165 horsepower. All in all, making 655 horsepower in total. So they took the frame from the Corvette Z06 and combined it with the engine from the Stingray and made it into this lightweight all-wheel drive Corvette with instant acceleration with 2.5 seconds, zero to 60 miles an hour. So today we're at Chevrolet and I want to introduce to you guys Cody with Chevrolet and he'll tell us about the brand new hybrid Corvette Stingray. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So could you uh, tell us about the brand new Corvette uh, hybrid? And what, so this is the yeah. E-Ray. Yeah, this is the uh, 2024 Corvette E-Ray. This is the first electrified Corvette. We're bringing all electric propulsion to the front axle. So it's the first Corvette with all wheel drive. It's the fastest production Corvette ever. 2.5 seconds, zero to 60, 10 and a half second quarter mile. Uh, could you tell us about the engine and like the powertrain and where where the electric power goes to and the yeah. power output. Yeah, so you have two power systems here. Okay. So hence the electrified Corvette. So you have the 6.2 liter LT2 from the Stingray in the rear that's powering the rear wheels. Gotcha. And then you have 160 horsepower up front that can, uh, you can actually use it to kind of out of the gate, uh, go on electric only power up to 45 miles an hour, or when you demand a certain amount uh, from the throttle, the the uh, the engine in the rear will kick on at that point. Right behind me is the brand new 2023 Lexus RZ, completely electric. And right next to me is Brendan. And today he'll be talking to us about the new RZ. It, yeah. it is our first electric car. Exactly. It's our first opportunity, as I like to say, dipping our toe in the pool, yep. seeing what the temperature's like, how you folks out there like it, um, see what the design you know, uh, is, how it's going to be uh, uh, received, mm -hmm. we'll say. Um, and then once you get behind the wheel, Right. We, we want to see how it feels for you uh, guests out there in Lexus land. We hope that you enjoy it. But we also really want to say that we're going to participate in the electric uh, electrification you know, of automobiles, mm -hmm. and especially in the North American continent. Right. But we also we want to also make known that electrified for us doesn't just mean a plug-in. It also means hybrid. Right. And we have hybrids aplenty in our a display. Lot, yeah. uh, Toyota and Lexus has a long heritage now of being at the forefront mm -hmm. of electrifying vehicles in the hybrid technology. And really it's all about refinement and trying to find the best solution to make the most out of a combustion engine. And we've done that with uh, being able to help out getting MPGs upwards of you know, eight, 10, 12 more miles per gallon. Then compared to another car, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. And reliability too and resale value, they carry on for many, many years. Oh, very much yeah. so. I mean, it's one of the hallmarks of a really good company of any kind of exactly. manufacturing. You have the longevity. Yep. Then all of a sudden, you know, you're going to see a lot of the uh, a lot of the, the resale values go up. Yeah. Right? But um, you're going to want to hold on to that product for because sure. you're going to get one, two, three hundred thousand miles on average on our products. With, exactly. And it's not just my opinion. I, we here at the auto show in New York and across the country. We get a lot of consumers coming up bragging about they have that type of uh, longevity in their product, whether it's exactly. the RX or the IS. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully we're going to see the same thing with the RZ yep. and it being electrified. Um, a couple of notes with the RZ. 
Yep. We have 220 miles of range. Mm -hmm. It is 11 hours on the slower end of the charging, so it's uh, it has some room to grow within sure. the, the yeah. Lexus electrified family. Um, but we're hoping to see all those numbers increase and get better over time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's obviously a beautiful, beautiful aesthetical design. And what's really interesting is that it first came out uh, last year mm -hmm. with a driver's yoke. So something that you'd find like a, a pilot's yoke. Got and it. it has this very interesting shape to it. So it's, it would be like you're sitting in a, a cockpit in a plane. Right. Well, that's uh, actually going to be available oh, in okay. this product coming up next year. This Very first nice. year, we're going to give you a full steering wheel, so it won't be too uh, unusual. Right. But the reason why we did that is that it's a drive-by wire system okay. versus your uh, your steering column. So it's not connected, correct? It's well, it's not manually, manually physically connected. Got it. Right. It's going to give you like almost like a joystick feel. Right behind me is the brand new 2023 Toyota BZ4X, the all-electric Toyota, and next to me is Annalise, and she'll tell us about the brand new 2023. BZ4X. Exciting times for Toyota. You know, we have a lot of electrified vehicles in the lineup, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, we have a fuel cell, but this is our very first all-electric mass-produced vehicle from Toyota. That's awesome. The BZ4X. So this is a small SUV type mm -hmm. of vehicle available in front or all-wheel drive. And I'm sure everybody's wondering, what is the range? You can get up to 252 miles on a single charge on That's the BZ4X. Impressive. It's very impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. Available in two trim levels, so lots of great options that, uh, that you can add on to your BZ4X, so there's lots of comfort and convenience as well. Mm -hmm.